Hi everyone, so first video review for this week is for You'll Be Fine by Jen Mikowski. Uh, if you want to check out my review, I have just posted that. So if you are on Facebook uh, or on my blog, there's a link within the post. And if you are on YouTube, there's a link in the description below. And this is the video review. So You'll Be Fine by Jen Mikowski um, is a very emotional story. Um, Alex comes home um, following her mother's death um, and she comes to sort things out and it kind of presents her with a work opportunity as well. To, so she's going to profile Juliet, who is an old flame, um, but now owns a restaurant and is making waves as a celebrity. So um, Carolyn, who is the editor of a local newspaper, is helping Alex um, when something sort of sparks between them um, and begins to develop. And so returning home wasn't supposed to be such a journey, but Alex definitely finds um, she's getting more than she bargained for upon, uh, you know, being back around Juliet and meeting Kathleen and everything. So um, it's really, really exciting. Um, it's quite a poignant and moving story. Um, and it was summed up really, really well by its title. Um, I think you'll be fine. It's just one of those things that people say it's so carefree. It's kind of actually used um, and that it often doesn't... Um, it doesn't ring true in difficult times, you know, when you're, you're struggling with something and people go, oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. You just don't believe them, do you? And um, I think with this, um, it's kind of a reality and it was a great title for this type of story. So um, it's kind of one of the truest of phrases because even though you don't believe it at the time when people are saying it to you, it's kind of true because at the end of the day, you, you carry on a lot of the time, don't you? And you are fine. <laughs> um, so I think it really summed up what happened you know, in life, and it summed up this story really, really well. And I loved how Jen used that title, wove it into the story in so many amazing ways as well. So there was a lot of things co covered in the story. Um, it was, um, there were some traumatic moments and some more sensitive ones, but each one was really relevant to the story, um, handled um, with a lot of inclusion and um, care and sensitivity and everything everything was considered so Jen had put a lot of effort into that and um a lot came at Alex upon returning home it just sort of like hit her all of it um, which was perfectly understandable that she was then going through everything she was that was connected to these things so um and it's typical because it is again it's when you go back to do something else that all these other things start to surface or when you're trying to do something else that anyway everything else um happens so um it kind of when you least expect them and that's definitely what happened to alex she wasn't expecting any of this and so returning home was completely different for her so um she was struggling sometimes with things changing but she was i think she was coping quite well with it generally and um it, she she copes with everything in this story um alex's character she copes so admirably with everything that's going on so um she remained calm whilst evaluating a lot of the situations and her circumstances she processed the past and she also processed those that were more recent but it wasn't easy it was a really really tough situation to be in so i really enjoyed the story um it was simple easy to follow um, and while it had deeply emotional moments um that connection between Alex and Carolyn was lovely. It was nice that they could find some happiness after everything and um, that, that Alex had some support upon returning home as well. She wasn't sort of alone in trying to, to, to tackle this with just her family. She had outside support as well. So it was a really, really nice story. Um, I really enjoyed it and hope you will too. Um, as I say, it's quite emotional and there are some sensitive subjects in there. So um, just be prepared for that if, if those types of things um you sort of need to build yourself up for but um yeah it was a lovely story had a really nice sort of sentiment to it and i really enjoyed reading it so i hope you will too i'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of you'll be fine by jen mikowski which i hope you will if you've read you'll be fine i would love to hear your thoughts on it so please comment below please let us know what you thought of this story if you haven't read it yet but it's on your to be read list you're planning to read it or you're now super intrigued and thinking i really want to read that story um again it'd be great to hear from you so please comment below and if you do read it i really hope you enjoy it bye